back. What's it called? Ground zero. Back to ground zero here where it happens. Hopefully it happens. Hello. Oh. Yeah, see the jewelry, huh? We're gonna make a quick exit here because I don't see any jewelry. Cute. I thought it might be one of those reindeer or stags. Stag horns or whatever, but that's cute. That's for candles. What came in the bags? Any bags? Last time I came in, I went to look at all the bags. Doesn't look like anything interesting. See anything? I don't. Oh, cute bag. Kohan. What a cute bag. And it's $50, though. They're insane. You get it at fifty dollars when it goes on clearance at Macy's. Didn't get to look at the other things yesterday. I just went straight to the jewelry. Probably don't need another lamp, but they're pretty. A little high for 20, don't you think? Yes, I would. I would definitely wear these. They look so comfortable. Oh my gosh, what size are they? It's not my size. Coloring book? The fashion coloring book? Oh, yes, thank you. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I always love learning about technical terms. Oh, perfect. That is so cute. Look at all those beautiful brass lamps. Those are nice. I like the ceramic one too. This one with the ball and claw feet. Made in India. It's a nice one. I think I saw most of it yesterday. There's a net in there. What the heck? $25 too. I don't know what it is. Huh? It's got a very fake Louis Vuitton. Rubbery. And they still want $30 for it. See the hideous red? Strike one. Also not leather. This stir store is like dead, isn't it? It's like nothing is here. How much the brick brick? Bummer. Go look at the jewelry on leave. Well, it looks like they got some new things. So we will take a look. I don't think they have the cheek. Oh, they do. They still have the cheekos. I don't know if I want to get it. It's $12. Oh, are those polar bear earrings? They're so cute. I can't tell if it's a brooch. They're nine dollars, but they're darling. It's okay, got some new necklaces. Oh, they make you wait forever. They really do, they make you wait forever. And oh, I like that big wide bangle there too. Late night on the streets again, hitting the thrift stores because that's what we do. And um, this one in particular, I haven't been to in a while. 
I don't expect to find jars, though at one time they did have bags. The very first jewelry jar was actually a bag, I believe, and it was bought here. So we're gonna look and see what they have. Sometimes they have um, interesting things. Sometimes they have sterling kind of set apart, but they never wait on you. You have to ask them three times. Then they just throw something. Oh, look at that cute watch. Then they just so throw something at you and go attend to the rest of the people and never come back. No, this is all fashion garbage. I don't see anything even worth asking for. Maybe the pearls that are over here. Oh, those look like some modern um, Miriam Haskell I used to have. I like the bow. I'm going to ask for that. We shall see. This one's, oh, just because it's sterling doesn't mean it's worthy. People go gaga over a little band just because it's sterling. Come on now. Hey, this is kind of cute. Look at that sparkle. Seven fifty-seven now. It's kind of expensive. These are kind of cool. These are cool, huh? These are so pretty. I love brogues. They don't look like they're leather inside, though. I hate that. And it's the... It looks like they scratched off the... Looks like they scratched off the sides. That's not helpful. See? She's never going to wait on me. We'll wait and see what they do. I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to look at them. I think I like the bow brooch if it's reasonably priced and oh natasha's pretty those are pretty gold earrings but i think they're ten dollars i'm not paying ten dollars can you see them they're hard to see those are pretty what's with the noise banging the coins around Yeah, I guess that's it. The brooch and the the necklaces. The pearl bow, the little brooch right there with the pearls. Pearls. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, that's kind of cute. I like those. It's kind of pretty. That'd be cute to accent a pearl necklace, huh? I'm still looking for organizational things. I did buy a lot of things on Amazon to help me organize. See, this is another place you really have to dig. But you will find some good things in here. I found a Gucci in here before. See, I always put as is. Um, oh, there it is. It's kind of dirty. I like it. I like the Madras design. But it is kind of sullied. Very dismal in the jewelry too, right? Very dismal. Was not happy with that. I did. I think I'm gonna take the brooch. I don't know. Thinking about it, five dollars seems like pretty reasonable. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so, and hit that bell to be notified whenever I upload a video. You don't want to miss one. The glass, oh, I was into the glass so much. Really enjoyed selling it and finding it. But, you know, as is the case with people that resell, you get tired of selling certain things. Well, I do, and I like to switch it up. And then I really got into the jewelry, and always I appreciate small packaging. <laughs> easy packaging and all of that but it's still fun to look at and you know you never know you might find that holy grail that uh, Starbucks mug that's worth $300 or something just never know okay I don't know what it is I thought it was a candle holder this is a spice rack I don't know what it is, but it's all totally packaged. Maybe if I read it. I have no idea. Maybe I think they're napkin rings. 
They have to be napkin rings, right? Yes, that's what they are. Maple leaf napkin rings, completely packaged. And they are $6. I could probably sell those on eBay for $50. But in a list, <laughs> I'm so busy right now, I haven't had a chance. $7.50. They're beautiful. I love them. Coastal area and decorated in that manner. Those would be amazing. Oh, where was that when I needed it? I needed an umbrella stand for my patio. And I almost bought one. And it was very expensive and I decided not to buy it. Now here they have one for $12. Oh my gosh, they were so expensive. I have $50. So now I don't want one. Now I'm not in the mood to buy one. Okay, I, I'm craving Chinese. You guys want to go eat some Chinese with me? This is like a handmade piece. This is pretty. I use this for jewelry too. Honestly, but this is leather. And I'll put like a scarf to keep it from, um, from falling through. And this is only $3.93. I can't believe it. They usually sell these baskets so expensive and they're not even American made or handmade by workshops of Gerald E. Hen, whoever that is. And um, look at this nice piece. Look at that, blue velvet. What did this hold? Looks like it could have held cassette. Cassettes or something, it's like leather. It's really nice. What does it say? It says... Talbots? Yeah. Talbot Bond Street in England. Oh my gosh, that's a fancy street in England, isn't it? It's where all the fancy stores are. That's really cool. This might be a good thing to put beads or something. It's got somewhat of a divider there. Yeah, I think this probably held maybe photographs. I don't know, but look at the pockets. That's so cool. God, I have this fetish for boxes, though. I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I don't need it. We've seen it. We've recorded. You witnessed it. It was beautiful. It was amazing. It does not mean I have to take it home. Oh, no, I don't have to take it home. Because I keep saying I don't want boxes, I want trays, and I keep buying boxes. Log Cabin Bank, oh my gosh. Great Smoky Mountains, so cool. Listen, dog jewelry tray, just when I need it. <laughs> no, it's not a jewelry tray, but it'll work. It'll work, it's for the, um, it's for the puzzle pieces or playthings or whatever, and a blue one. Oh, these are cool. These will fit in my drawer, too. Oh, my gosh. I'm definitely getting these, too. Get there and check it out. Can't leave without looking through there. There's always some good stuff there. Well, not always, but it's worth a look-see. Uh, black house. The fire. Lots of cookbooks. Skinny meals and heels. Mm, I just want Chinese food. We're going to go eat some Chinese food in a minute. We had a decent price. Oh my gosh, I'd die for these books. And these actually sell really well. I absolutely die for these books from the 60s and 70s. Look at the decor. Oh my gosh, these are so fun to look at. They really are. And I take inspo. I love the sharp angles of the sofas. and Oh, I just love it. I just, I love mid-century. In line, of course. Let me see if I can beat these people to the line. Yes, yes. I gotta beat them. I gotta beat them. All right. All right, guys. We're headed in. Uh, nothing like Chinese food written in Spanish. Comida china. And the soda is gratis. <laughs> And they got bobo tea and what else? Bubble milk tea. Well, we're going to check it out because this thing has 3.5 stars. My book? That's good. We shall see. Because I like spicy. Yeah, it's 9, 10, 7. And veggies. Okay, let me try that one. I'll take a Diet Coke. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to have it here.